Good morning, everyone. Um, for some of us, it'll be morning, I guess. Um, welcome to day three of our grounding meditation. And today we're going to have some intention setting around putting on our own oxygen masks first. Um, I recently wrote a blog. You can go to my website at villagehealthmn.com or I posted it on the Village Health LLC's Facebook page um, about if you want to read more about what where this came from for me. But today, um, after our checking in with ourselves through our meditation and we'll move into some time of thinking about what we might need in the coming days and weeks um, to help not only ourselves, but to be that support system for our loved ones and those around us. So go ahead and get comfortable, whether you're going to sit on a chair, or sit on the floor, or even lying down on the floor, um, just making sure you're comfortable. And if at any time during the meditation you're not feeling comfortable, make sure you can shift your body. Okay. So with that, go ahead and plant your feet or your body solidly on the ground. Close your eyes or take a soft gaze, and I'll join you in that today. And just start to breathe. Just start to notice your breath as you inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose or mouth. And just noticing your breath as you take an inhale and your exhale. Notice the pace of your breath, the quality without judgment. And where is the breath going in your body? Continue to notice your breath. Notice the cool air coming in through your nose. And then as you exhale through your nose or mouth, how the air is warmer. So connecting in with the cool air as it comes in. And the warmer air as it comes out. Now keeping this breath in the back of your mind, especially if your mind wanders, always come back to the breath. But we're going to start noticing the crown of our head today. We're going to do a body scan from the crown of our head all the way down to your toes. So in your comfortable position, seated or lying down, just notice your scalp, the crown of your head, forehead, and as you notice what's going on, if you notice any tension, whether it's physical um, or any sort of other things that you notice physically or not, take your breath there and breathe into it and feel it release with the exhale. So as you're working through your scalp and your forehead, face, jaw, neck, Inhale into those areas and exhale, relieve the tension. Let it just kind of melt down, melt away. Working your way down to your neck and shoulders, inhaling, breathing into those spaces. And as you exhale, letting go. And again, inhale, breathing into the neck and the shoulders. And as you exhale, letting go. Do that with your arms, so neck, shoulders, and arms, breathing into those areas. And as you exhale, feel things letting go all the way down your arms through your fingertips. One more time through the neck and shoulders and arms. Mm. And as you exhale, feel tension, stress, whatever it is, leaving your body through your fingertips. Now moving into your chest, upper back, rib cage area, 
So that entire rib cage, front of your body, back of your body, side of your body, breathe into it. And as you exhale, almost like a sigh, fully relax the heart space, the rib cage space. Inhale, breathing deeply into the ribs. And as you exhale, release. Moving into the belly area, same thing, breathing into the belly, feeling it expand. And as you exhale, letting go, releasing whatever cues work and resonate with you. And again in the belly. And letting go. Low back. Breathe into the lower back. Breathe into the back of the pelvis even. And on the exhale, letting it go. Releasing the physical tension or emotional, whatever it is. So breathing into that low back and starting to move into the pelvis a little bit as well and release. And now move into the pelvis, move into the glutes, sitting bones, tailbone, pubic bone, maybe even a little bit the front of the hips and the tops of the thighs. Inhale, breathe into the areas that are fitting for you when you think about your hips and pelvis. And exhale, fully release. And again, breathing into the pelvis, into the glutes, and release. Moving into the thighs now and your knees, breathing into the thighs, the front and the back, inside and outside. And exhale, release and relax. Inhale into the thighs again, moving into the lower legs and feet as well. And exhale, release. One more time, into the legs, into the knee joints, the shins, the calves, the ankles, the feet and toes. And exhale, release. Now with your breath, continue to fill up your whole body with your inhalation. And with your exhalation, feel everything draining out of the bottoms of your feet as your feet connect to the floor. Inhale, breathing into every cell of your body. And as you exhale, letting go of whatever is not serving you through the bottoms of your feet. Inhale, breathing into the entire body. And as you exhale, letting it all go through your feet. If you need to keep doing that for a couple more breaths, go right ahead. Otherwise, start to feel that groundedness through your feet and through your lower body, feeling your connection to the earth. So continue to breathe, using the exhale to let go of your worries, stripping down your worries and feeling yourself supported by the floor underneath you, the chair underneath you, the foundation of your house, all the way down into the dirt. Just feeling everything underneath you and how it's supporting you, feeling the heaviness of your body. If you're feeling comfortable keeping your eyes closed or a soft gaze, stay there. We're gonna move into a place of letting things bubble up, of what will you need in the coming days and weeks ahead to support yourself. So as you feel this groundedness, as you feel the earth underneath you, asking yourself, what do you need? What do I need? Maybe physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, whatever's bubbling up for you. If you feel you need to write this down, go ahead and start to write or draw, but just let things come forward of what you might need.
as these thoughts and feelings bubble up, what's resonating? What is feeling right to maybe implement or make tangible in your day-to-day, tomorrow, and in the coming couple of days? What needs to be first for you? And again, you can stay in this space of feeling grounded with your eyes closed, but if you need to be writing this down, go ahead. Picture your day today and being able to schedule this in. What would your day look like if you were to schedule in what you need, what's bubbling up for you? And unlike yesterday's grounding, what would tomorrow look like and the next day for you if you were to schedule this in and make it a priority? How would you feel afterwards after you take care of this need? How would your body feel? How would your spirit feel? To make this even more tangible, who do you need to tell of this need in your life? Maybe it's a loved one that's in your household. Maybe it's someone you need to reach out to over the phone or virtually. But who's your support person or persons that you need to tell to help support you so that you can continue to take care of yourself during this time? so that you have a larger bandwidth to take care of your loved ones who will also need you during this time. Come back to your breath. Maybe it might feel good to inhale again into every cell of your body and exhale it all out. Exhale any worries, any concerns, anything that's not serving you and come back to that place of feeling grounded. And as we finish today, bring to mind something you're grateful for or someone you're grateful for. And send love and light or a prayer to them. Maybe some feelings of groundedness or the feelings you're having right now after taking this time for yourself. To start to come out of this space, go ahead, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, start to maybe roll your shoulders around a little bit. Just listen to your body. What does it need? Do you need to stretch your arms up or reach your arms back behind you and just open up your chest? Maybe stretch out your neck. Continue to breathe. And I just want to thank you for joining me again today. Um, I have plans to do this again tomorrow at 8.15, so I'll be here for you. And as you move through your transitions today, and it's I'm finding actually that I don't have as many um, set in stone transitions because we're more housebound. So as you come upon transitions in your day, remember to pause and breathe. Thank you.